Yo, what up? It's your boy Tyler YBT all day, baby. You know, I told y'all that uh, I was gonna try to get this every day. And I know the last couple times I was messing up, but this is three days in a row, baby. And so I just got done with my workout like I've been doing for the last two days. So this is day three, baby. Um, tough workout for me, uh, just because I'm out of shape a little bit. But um, I'm in Planet Fitness right now doing this total enhancement body thing that my girl put me on. I guess it's supposed to make my, it's supposed to make my, um, it's supposed to make my, it's, it's supposed to make my, my body feel better. Rumbles your feet and all that stuff. I will show you down, but I ain't got nothing but the draws on. So, um, anyway, yesterday I told you guys about like how an environment that you grow up in really can change like a kid's way of thinking. And so, uh, I want to talk about that a little bit. So, I grew up in a household with my mom and my dad. Thank God, they both did work. Um, What's your thing? You have selected the fiber shape function. You have selected program two. This program is suitable for beginners. You have selected program three. This program strengthens muscles. Your chosen fiber shape program will now start with a warm up phase. Hey. Please make sure that you place your feet as indicated on the foot symbols and do not lock your knees during the fiber shape program. Pretty crazy, huh? Anyway, um, I had told you guys about. I had told you guys about like growing up in, in a neighborhood that doesn't really have much going on and how can it affect you mentally as a kid growing up. So um, I was born in uh, in North Hollywood, but I didn't stay there that long. I actually ended up, I'm, since I'm in California, we, you know, prices have always kind of been higher in California and my mom and dad couldn't afford to live down there. So what they ended up doing was they did the whole commuting trip, right? Where they would commute from LA based on, you know, traffic and everything else there to from LA to the house. And we moved all the way from North Hollywood all the way to a little place called Lake LA. And you would think that it's a beautiful place with the lake and trees and all this stuff. Man, there was, there was nothing but tumbleweeds and goat heads there. But me as a kid, I didn't know no better, right? And so the thing is, it's like, I was thinking like, oh man, you know, it's cool. I'm chilling, hanging out, building up. But really, we had just a big yard. It was pretty cool. It was kind of like living on the farm with no plants. Like, there was nothing there. But, um, and I kind of just thought that, you know, us, with what we had in our house and our, you know, our cars and how my mom and dad kind of had, you know, set up. I thought that was how life was. But um, eventually, right around third grade, I ended up, we ended up moving. I don't know what happened. Uh, the city didn't do something. And my parents didn't like it. Phase will end in a few seconds. Please note that the intensity of the program varies. So anyway, yeah, so my parents didn't necessarily like what the what the what the city was doing because they didn't they didn't fund the lake. So since they didn't fund the lake, they were like, forget it, I'm out of here, the lake was dried up, there was no oasis that they thought was gonna be there, it was a bad bet, kinda lost money, and we decided to go. Well they ended up moving us to a place called Palmdale. Now Palmdale had trees, had neighbors everywhere and that's what I grew up the majority of my life as far as when I was a young and so the difference between like Lake LA and Palmdale was like night and day dude it was like cactuses and nothing around to like neighbors and kids and playing and I was like oh my gosh this is like a metropolis this is amazing I can't believe it and so I was just talking to my dad about how how <clears throat> how like it was growing up in Lake LA not having room with my parents at home like that because my, my uncle, which was kind of like a fake uncle, he would just sit home, drink, smoke all day, and lay around. And me as a young boy, I just thought that's what you do as a kid. You, you know, you go to work, come back, and you kind of do nothing. And so I didn't see people actually actively going up with dreams and goals, but I would watch TV and these players, basketball players, and football players, these idols of mine, these heroes of mine, would be doing just great things, but I never thought that I was capable of doing any of those things because my environment told me that nobody comes, nobody from here becomes great. Like nobody from here, no, I never seen anybody read books other than my mom, maybe fiction, you know, books and story books. I was interested in that type of stuff. My heroes were like the Power Rangers, you know? But I didn't know that you had to put real work in to do anything because the environment that I saw, nobody worked. 
There was no BMWs. There was no Mercedes. There was no there was no Ferraris. There was no they no big trucks. There was no people really working hard. It was just a bunch of like very low level, low skill workers in that small town. And so going to Palmdale, I kind of see more of the same thing where there was a hot, there was more people that were doing more things, but there wasn't enough like actual like go-getters, right? And, and it wasn't until I went to college and kind of came back and then moved to Orange County, I was like, holy crap, this is what I felt in high school. So let me give you an example. I went to uh, high school in Palmdale. We would play this team called Notre Dame. They were in Sherman Oaks. Man, look, everything about this team scared the crap out of me because in Palmdale, even though we had a weight room, we didn't really use it like that. We kind of did, but it wasn't really disciplined like that, you know? And then when I went to, um, you know, you know we, we had field, we had all this stuff, but we just, even though we were good, we were athletic, we just didn't put that work ethic into the game like that. And so when I when we would travel down to go see like an Oaks Christians or, or Sherman Oaks, dude would scare the crap out of me because I'm like, dude, they got facilities, they got equipment, their coaches look on point, their jerseys are nice, their city looks cool, even their grass was cut short and perfect and soft. And the grass made me feel like they was like the Rams when it was turf time, like the greatest show on turf back in the day. It was just so intimidating because I just thought they had to leg up and they were rich and we weren't. And so since they're better than us, we're never gonna win these type of games. That is a big factor in a kid's life that feels that intimidated from people just because of where they live. They walk different, they talk different, they spoke different, everything was just different about them. And I just was like, damn, like, I felt inferior. And so as a kid, man, that really affected me. That affected me big time. My mom and my dad, my mom was an athlete, but she didn't really teach me much on athleticism. My dad was not an athlete, so. A lot of these lessons I had to kind of learn myself. And it was through trial and error, and not really getting the chance to kind of like, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I had a lot of opportunities, but what I'm trying to say is your environment that you bring your kids up in, or the environment that you're in, if you're stuck in a poor environment that all you see is liquor stores, or all you see is 7-Elevens on every corner, or all you see is gun shops, or all you see is like nothing that's really like trying to elevate the community. You're not seeing anything that's trying to boost, you know? That environment's gonna keep your mindset down, and that's what it did to me. It kept my mindset down. It kept me in a lower place where I felt like, as an adult, I wasn't worth it. So I wasn't worth shaking this person's hand to maybe get their business, because somebody in their neighborhood can probably get their business because I'm not worth it, but that other person is. And so what I want to advise is if you're in a poor neighborhood, work harder to get out of it. Right now, I'm in a neighborhood that I don't like. And it's not poor, but it's not the greatest. And I want to be able to get to a better neighborhood. So I want to work harder. I want to work. Once I get out of this gym, I'm going to go to work again. I'm going to wake up in the morning, go to the gym, go to work, and then work again. Because I want us change, man. I want some, I want some change because... I don't want my children to grow up with the same mindset that I had where they're not worth it. They feel inferior because these other kids have more. They went to a private school, they have the best colleges, they have the best stuff. I don't want them to feel that way. And you shouldn't want your kids to feel that way either. If you have an opportunity, you know, you got two hands, two arms, two limbs, and you got a good lower upstairs, you can literally change anything. You just gotta change their mindset. And that's where we are right now. Right now, my big thing is I want to change my environment, get my body into the best shape possible, feed as much positive activity into you know my media, into you know you guys, into myself, listen to as many books that's gonna help me build my my, my my confidence as much as possible, and do this until I feel worthy of whatever. And I know that some people are like, man, you're God's kid. You can you can feel worthy just because I get it. I understand. However the work in it makes me feel better it gives me more momentum gives me more confidence and then it allows me to feel like i can use that charisma that yeah that i got inside to be able to do something big so i'm going to put the work into myself and maybe i'm late behind the eight ball and some people are further off to me that doesn't matter to me because as long as i continue to keep on working and taking care of my body and eating right and, and trying my best and being bold about my steps i guarantee it things are going to change in the future i got goals for myself and my family and i want things to change and i don't want my kids to feel the same kind of environment that i felt when i was in a kid 
not even knowing that it was sabotage of some greatness that I could have had early on because I've always been ambitious, but I didn't think it was even possible because I didn't see it around me. Until I got out of college and I seen people around me about that, I thought that I wasn't working. So I just wanted to you know, bring that message to y'all. This is like old school YouTube, man, where people would actually talk and have good conversations with the audience. I hope somebody's able to get something from this, man. But uh, before I know you, I love you. Man, make sure y'all do y'all absolute best in whatever y'all trying to do. It's your boy, Ty, YDT, all day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.